Hello, all you wonderful people, and welcome to Grand Theft Auto 3. And this game is going to be our next game that we are going to play through, our next Grand Theft Auto game. And uh, yeah, this was released all the way back in 2001, so this game is gonna be 23 years old this year, but still an amazing masterpiece. So yeah, I will be doing a 100% walkthrough, which basically means that I'm gonna be doing every single mis mission and thing that this game has to offer. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started on the main storyline, complete the first mission, and then we're gonna do a couple of things. So, here we go. There we go, and start new game. Oh yeah, this legendary beginning. Many people probably remember this. Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You're just a small town. Oh, man, you hit me. Now we are in a prisoner transport convoy. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. Look at what's going to happen. Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Oh, yeah. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. Oh, yeah, we're getting free. You're gonna be sorry. Okay, for some aye, reason aye, they took lost. the old guy only, but... Here we make our own escape. Alright. And yeah, the bomb. Oh yeah, just like that. Well, the bridge is pretty shattered right now. No, no one is gonna be crossing that anytime soon. All right. Anyways, I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. All right, I am willing to drive. All right, L here we are in Liberty City. This is based off on, off of New York, and this is the first three-dimensional Grand Theft Auto game to ever be released so yeah this was a pretty uh high or big thing back in the day and still is i mean you know i love this game but anyways here we go let's get in the car i just turned off the radio for copyright reasons and let's get in the car and complete the first mission. And it's gonna be real simple. Okay, the game is telling us about the basics, stuff like that. Alright. And all 
also one more thing every episode i will be putting my progress into the description and from there you can be able to view what i have done and what i haven't done so yeah all the 100 percent completion requirements are gonna be there and i will mark down what i have done and what i haven't stop in the center this is the place right here let's get off the street and find a change of clothes Alright, get a change of clothes, you inmates. Alright, so when not on a mission, I can come here to save the game. This is like my home. And a garage. This guy, he's connected. His name's Dimitri. Me and him go back, so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Alright. Immediately after escaping a prisoner convoy, we are getting into the Hands of the Mafia, right here, on the red light district. Alright, stop in the center of the blue marker. Luigi's Girls. Alright, here we go then. Let's meet the man. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Yeah, vouch for me, man. Vouch for me. Well, that was quick. Hey, fool's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girl. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Alright. We better not mess this up. So, we have to get a vehicle, just like so. Here we go. We can use this one or any other vehicle for that matter. And uh, yeah. Let's get going, we gotta get to the hospital right now, and the hospital is gonna be right over here, and there is gonna be Misty, alright Misty, get in the car, you know, oh, well, hello Misty, okay, let's take Misty to Luigi's club. Here we go. All right. And here we are, pretty much. Oh, sorry, man. Okay, Misty. All right, mission passed. One thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. You can go and see Luigi for more work or check out Liberty City, yeah. To earn some extra cash, why not borrow a taxi, yeah. So, you can see the L in the radar. That's gonna be a mission from Luigi that I can go ahead and do whenever I feel like that. But there's also a lot more to this. So, yeah, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and save the, this car over here. I always do this. So I will have the first car in the game at the uh, ending of the game. Anyways, I am gonna be saving the game on the slot number one. And, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, in this episode, I'm not gonna be doing any of those main missions, but instead I'm gonna start collecting the hidden packages, and the hidden packages are actually, uh, they are one of the collect, I mean they are, well yeah, one of the collectibles in the game, what the deal, yo? or actually they are like the only collectible in the game. But there's also a lot of other missions in this game that don't show up on the map, but you have to find them yourself. 
But yeah, I was thinking that maybe getting 10 packages right now would be a good idea. So here we go, the first one is gonna be located right over here. Over there, as you can see. They look like this, and let's pick it up. Hidden package, one of 100, alright. There's still quite a lot of packages to go. Anyways, I'll be back real soon. Alright. Also, in this game there is not a map available that would show the entire map of the game. Also, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and San Andreas, they all have the so-called definitive editions available but I don't wanna play them because I think that these original ones are much much better anyways right now I'm gonna go here you can ride the L train around Portland press the return or F button to enter or exit a train yeah I don't wanna get into a train so oh I can run from here alright well that's good uh, Okay, my man, he ran out of uh, stamina, can't run anymore. Alright, so the next hidden package is gonna be right over here and... Wait, I wanna get that flamethrower. Alright. No, come on, jump. Oh man. Okay, come on, now, there we go, step number one, step number, no, no, alright, no flamethrower then, anyways, hidden package, two out of 100, alright, alright, I'm gonna need a vehicle, Well, hello. Oh, don't go there, please. Oh, well, you are gonna get robbed. Alright. I'm gonna be right back on the third package. Alright, so, here we go with the third hidden package. It's gonna be located right over... Oh, a cop. Cop, cop, I almost... Dra drove over him and that's a bad thing I don't want to get a wanted level the cops are very aggressive in this game anyways the way to get to the third package is like so first of all and after this we jump over here alright there we go 3 out of 100 found I'll see you on the fourth one. Actually, I looked at the locations of the upcoming three packages, so I can really just go and get them and show them to you. So, the fourth one is gonna be right inside of this place. Alright. Right over there, we got 4 out of 100, and also this car, this is the Banshee, this is also in Grand Theft Auto 5, and yeah, but you know, that's how old this car originally is, like if you compare it to 2024 GTA 5, it's like pretty similar looking car anyways here is gonna be the fifth package so we gotta get right over here and then we have to run behind this place in here we are gonna have some missions in the future so stay tuned for that but right now first we are gonna get this one right from here and again, our guy ran out of energy. Okay, let's get back over here and get you as in the car. Alright. And, well, I'm gonna make a jump. 
off of this little hill over here and I hope that my car is not gonna end I was just saying that I hope my car is not gonna end up upside down but that's exactly what it did at the exact moment oh yeah and it blew up and I got some money for blowing it up anyways this is gonna be the sixth hidden package right over here and right now I got some distance to cover to get back to the street so I will be back real soon alright let's get over here and steal ourselves one of these mafia cars here we go mafia sentinel alright this is a fast car handles well and so on anyways I'm gonna get to the package number seven right now. That's gonna be located right over here. By the way, if you are planning to play this game by yourself, um, you should f uh, first of all learn the map pretty well. Because, well, that was the difficulty for me in the beginning as well. Because if you don't know the map, and when the game doesn't have one internally, it's gonna be really hard to play the original version of this game, you know? I mean, there's the definitive editions, they of course have a map, and so on, but this one doesn't. But anyways, hidden package, 7 out of 100 collected, here we go. I'm gonna make my way on to the 8th package right now. Okay, I stopped recording, but the next package is actually gonna be really close, so I don't have to stop recording, so we only have to drive over here. Then we gotta get inside of this place, this little par park over here. And we gotta jump over here, this is gonna be the number 8. And then we gotta get into this forest. Right over here and somewhere in here is gonna be the number 9. Oh yeah, it's right over there. Alright, hidden package 9 of 100. Alright. And the number 10 package that's gonna be right over here on the place where we already were a few moments ago so we gotta get in here behind this alley and the package is gonna be here there we go 10 out of 100 all right pistol delivered to hideout all right, thank you. So, in this game, we don't have uh, phones. We have a pager. All right, a good old 80s pager or 70s. I don't know, 80s probably. But anyways, I guess that this is gonna be it for the first episode of Grand Theft Auto 3. I know that we are gonna have a wonderful journey here in the land of GTA 3 and Liberty City and look at that the beautiful city of Liberty City right over there we can't get to that island yet but we will unlock it future on in the game but anyways before I exit the game, I of course want to go ahead and save the game, you know, like most people would. Alright, and yeah, the pager said that we have a pistol now, and yep, it spawns at our safe house, so here it is. Alright, we got a pistol now with plenty of ammo, and it will respawn there really soon. Let's go ahead and make a save, just like this, alright, and there we go. Anyways, I guess this is gonna be it for the first episode, hope you guys enjoyed, 
and I hope I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of this classic great awesome game or in some other video on the channel but anyways thank you for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys later bye bye